Hi, welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. Um, if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and even share my video with other people that might benefit. And that will help get my video out there for everyone to see. And someone requested if I could do a video on wheezing. So anytime someone wants to request a video, um, as long as I can do it, I will do it, okay? So wheezing. Wheezing can occur on an inspiration as well as an expiration. So whether you're breathing in or out, wheezing can occur. It usually means something different depending on if you're breathing in and hear the wheeze or if you're breathing out and hear the wheeze. But all wheezing is essentially caused by the same mechanism and that is either occluding one of your airways or just narrowing your airway. So I drew a picture here and I am in no way an artist, um, but the lungs are basically like a tree. So it starts off bigger here and then they just kind of branch out like the branches would on a tree. Anything that can block these little airways, so let's say mucus is a big one. If mucus gets in here and drops into an airway and occludes it, or just leaves a tiny little bit of room for air to get out, that's gonna cause a wheeze. Anytime that your airways are just very inflamed and narrow, so they're smaller than usual, that will also cause a wheeze. On top of that, if you happen to have fluid around your lungs, which would be more than likely a cardiac problem, that can also cause a wheeze. So over here, I'm gonna start off with an expiratory wheeze, and that's because it is the most common type of wheezing. Number one right here at the start is asthma. Most people associate wheezing with asthma. Um, and that's because if you're an asthmatic, you know that you wheeze. <laughs> it's very, very common. Um, if, you, if you have been told that you have asthma, but you've never actually done any kind of testing to see if you have asthma, I would be a little weary of that and uh, maybe go and see a lung specialist just so they could check you out and make sure that it is in fact asthma because um, I see it a whole lot with um, family doctors. You come in, you're wheezing, you're coughing, they're gonna say, oh, you have asthma and they're gonna give you some medicine and it, it'll probably make you feel better but um, it may not be asthma. So unless they've done some certain type of testing, they can't necessarily diagnose you and say that for sure that's what you have. Um, so if you've been told that and you've never had any testing, um, I encourage you to do that. But asthma does in fact cause wheezing. COPD is another big one. It's gonna cause that expiratory wheeze um, because of the mucus that gets stuck in your airways as well as the narrowing because when you have both asthma and COPD, your lungs will get very inflamed through here. The lining of your airways are gonna inflame and that's going to push together to where your airways are very narrow. Um, so that will cause wheezing. Now severe allergies is a big one because of the mucus and the swelling once again. Um, all of these things cause the same type of reaction in the lungs. So if you're being exposed over and over and over again to things that you're allergic to, you could very easily be wheezing. Um, CHF, congestive heart failure. Gotta put this on here because um, I have also seen this misdiagnosed numerous times. Um, congestive heart failure can cause wheezing. So um, not every wheeze that you hear is a lung problem. Sometimes it's a heart problem. Um, and the last one on here is RSV, which is the respiratory syncytial virus. Um, it's most common in children, but I will tell you that just of lately, I've been seeing more adults with it. So for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, maybe because we've been wearing our masks, so we haven't been exposed to things that we're normally immune to, I don't know, but we have been seeing that in adults as well. So. That's the expiratory. Now there are lots of things that can cause it, but these are the main, the main expiratory wheeze um, things that can cause it. Now over here I have inspiratory. 
So the inspiratory is a little bit different, and that is in, usually when you hear that inspiratory wheeze, it's usually in these larger airways through here. So if you hear somebody with an inspiratory wheeze, when they breathe in, you wanna think this is something going on in the larger airway. Um, this happens a lot with children, babies, and that's because their airways, even their large airways are tiny. So if they're sick and they have any kind of swelling, mucus, um, that is going to cause an inspiratory wheeze on them. Um, if you're having a very severe allergic reaction, like anaphylactic shock, that can definitely just close up your airways up here, can cause an inspiratory wheeze. Um, sometimes it does something called a strider, which is a, just a very high pitched inspiratory wheeze. Um, so that could be an allergic reaction if this comes on suddenly. Um, it could also mean a foreign body. So let's say um, you have a son who's five years old, he got in your purse, and he was getting coins out and all of a sudden you hear that he's wheezing every time he breathes in. He could very easily have something stuck in the airway here. So you always wanna get that checked out. RSV, like we talked about before, it can also cause inspiratory wheeze. Um, and another big one is the vocal cord dysfunction. A lot of times in children especially, the vocal cord dysfunction um, since it's not very well known, it can be misdiagnosed pretty often as asthma in children. So um, one of the big things with that is that this is going to be on inspiration more so, where with asthma, it's gonna be more on exhalation. So I've given you the different reasons. And now, like I said, this is just a short list, but anything that can cause the mucus in your airway, the swelling of your airways, anything that can cause that can cause wheezing. So I'm going to erase this real quick. Okay, now, so we know that. Now, what are we gonna do to treat the asthma? So. We have treatments up here. And these are obviously going to coincide with what is causing the wheezing. So, if in fact your airways are narrowing, then you're going to want a bronchodilator. This will be in the form of an inhaler or a nebulizer. Um, for people who know their drugs pretty well, this would be like your albuterol. Um, let's see where I went. Sorry. I start talking when I'm writing and I will completely write the wrong thing. So that's what I did. Okay, so treatment, if you're, it's because your airways are narrowed, this is going to be a bronchodilator in the form of a meter dose inhaler or a nebulizer. Um, you could also do a steroid of some kind. So this can be like, say if you're in the emergency room, they can give you a, um, an IV steroid that would start working really well for that. Um, or they can give you oral steroids and that will start working really well for that too. On the lines of that, of the airways narrowing, a lot of people are prescribed something that they take every single day for breathing and it will have an inhaled steroid in it. That is going to actually decrease the inflammation all the time so that you have less chance of wheezing. Um, but it's not going to like, it's not going to fix the wheezing. So anytime you start to hear yourself wheezing, you start to get short of breath, what you really need is the inhaled bronchodilator, which will be like albuterol most of the time is what they use. Now, if the wheezing is being caused because you're having a lot of allergies and allergic reaction, you're going to want to take some allergy medicine. So this will be 
something like um, a Luco trying modifier, which would be your singular. Um, you can also try Zyrtec, um, Claritin. Of course, those are the brand names. Um, a lot of people will just go to the doctor and get them to prescribe an allergy medicine. That's going to help with that. And then anything that can dry up mucus, like an antihistamine. So an allergy med will really help if that's what's causing it. Now let's say it's fluid and it's actually something that is um, going on with your heart that's making you wheeze. If it is um, creating pulmonary edema, the fluid around your lungs, then you're gonna wanna take a diuretic. to help with the wheezing there. Now, um, on top of the things that you can do to treat the wheezing, you can also do things to try to minimize the wheezing. So, um, one thing like I was talking about is your daily inhaled medications. You wanna try to take those every day, not to miss. Those are gonna help. And um, you also want to always try to keep your mucus thin and loose. So that will be like drinking a lot of water. You can do percussion to keep it loose in there. Um, make sure you're doing a strong cough to get it out. Um, one big one is to avoid your triggers. So, uh, you know, a lot of times um, you will be fine, but then you go somewhere and you're exposed to something that your airways are very allergic to or your airways are just hyper responsive to and the wheezing can start. So um, you wanna stay away from things that can do that. Smoke is a big one, any kind of smoke, um, but also perfumes, strong chemicals, um, dust, you know, there's, there are all kinds of triggers. Um, not everybody is triggered by the same thing. So you need to find out what yours are to help with that. But um, once you can minimize the mucus and minimize the um, swelling or the the decreasing of the airflow your wheezing will start to get better um, if your wheezing just happens to come on all of a sudden and it's really really bad you should probably go to the emergency room um, because that's something that you don't want it to get any worse because your body will just do everything it can to keep you breathing but you will wear out so if you're taking medicine and it's not helping and you're very, very short of breath, make sure you go to the emergency room. Um, and this is in no way going to diagnose you or tell you what to do, um, but at least now you have all of the information that you might need or want about wheezing. Thank you.